Good evening, I am Tanisha Laverne Brown reporting live from the red carpet at 2nd in New York City for the Recording Academy's New York chapter celebration of its nominees for the 61st Annual Grammy Awards. Award season is in full swing and I'm super excited to talk to some of the new emerging talent. Congratulations, Thank you. you've had an amazing career. Talk to me a little bit about your early influences in music and well, I, I grew up in Cuba. I was born in Cuba, in Havana, in Pinar del Rio. And then I came here in 1995. I, my education was in classical music, but then when I came into, into the States, I emerged myself into jazz. And um, nice. yeah, I mean, my early influences, you know, all the jazz greats, Duke Ellington, Herbie Hancock, mm. Chick Corea, everybody. Nice, yes. nice. So what does it mean to be a part of the Grammys organization, the uh, Recording Academy for your career? I mean, it's, a, it's truly a, a pleasure, you know, it's a, it's a blessing to be uh, involved in this organization and to be nominated for this Grammy Award with my latest project, Sinke. And uh, I've been working in my music for for a very long time. Yeah, it's so ongoing, it's perpetual. It's, exactly. Uh, it's a lifelong commitment. And it's, it's almost like a reaffirmation of uh, the good work, basically, that's what it is. When something is... Uh, validated in this way is uh, it tells me like okay just keep going and just keep nice, doing nice. what you're doing. Well congratulations. All right this is Tanish Laverne Grant. I am on the red carpet at second for the Recording Academy's like you know celebration, celebration. Yeah, yeah for all the we, nominees. We all couldn't be in LA right now so we're here in New York doing it. Yeah. How are you feeling tonight? Feeling good. Happy to be here. Yeah. yeah. And like the Grammys, I mean, this is a big deal. This is the 61st year, and the Recording Academy here in New York is celebrating 60 years. Right, right. You know, I'm so what's it like to be a part of that? It's amazing to be here. Honestly, life as a musician, you know, it's incredible to be, you know, asked to come to things like this. And, um, you know, we're sad we couldn't be in LA, but, you know, we do it in New York anyway. Wait a second. Yeah. New York is yeah. no stepchild. No, you understand? No, New not. York is no not. stepchild. No, I'm, I'm doing Broadway at the moment, so it's like, it's the best experience ever. Oh, wow, well, that's fantastic. Yeah. So talk to me about yeah. some of your early influencers, you know, who helped influence your career and helped shape you and mold you into the musician that you are. Um, artist influences or people? Artists, artists, kind of artists, artists, yes. Okay, cool. Um, I grew up uh, with, like, Elvis, Johnny Cash, people like that, all the, like, you know, classic kind of rhythm and blues guys. What do you mean guys. you grew up with Elvis um, and Johnny Cash? Well, that's what, what my you... parents, that's what my parents gotcha. played around the house, nice. you know, vinyls and things like nice. that. So um, that's what initially got me into it. And then I really got into, got into, you know, a lot more pop and temporary music when I was 13, 14, you know, um, Timberlake was a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then guys like Sting, Chris Martin, oh, people like Sting that. Oh, Sting is yeah. my, yeah. Sting can do all no wrong. All time, yeah. Yeah. Wow, so talk to me about he the first time. He reps too. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about, you know, coming on stage for your very first performance and what was that like? I really like to hear about musicians talk about that first time they interacted full out with their yeah. audience. I think the first time I performed on stage uh, live my own music was, I was probably 14 years old or something wow. here in New York um, and I'd come over from Australia and was doing a showcase for you know anyone that came out um, fans that I'd already you know sort of gathered in the States and then like record labels and things like that too so I did that when I was 14 I think it was down in Tribeca and wow. um, that was the first my first memory of being on stage and it was just so this is kind of like a full circle moment for kind you kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's like eight years later or something and we're and, you know, doing all this Grammy stuff, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So, who are you listening to right now? Who am I listening to at the moment? God, it's such an eclectic range of music. I like yeah. everything from rock to rap to, you know, singer songwriter your stuff. Teeth so, this morning you're brushing your teeth. You're about to get a workout on. Like, morning, if I hit yeah. your, yeah. Brushing my teeth. My mornings, I'm I'm into the Sinatra, especially living here in New York. I'm into all yeah. the jazz in the mornings. I love that. Getting me up for the day, things like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. What is your advice to young musicians, well, younger than you are, who want to, like, get into this game, who really, you know, think they can sidestep the baseline discipline and the artistry? Yeah. Um, you can't sidestep it. It'll come back to bite you in the end. You know what I mean? Um, you really have to. Uh, I think perseverance, patience and perseverance are two things that, that I've learned um, over the years is that you have to be patient. Things don't come immediately. Um, and perseverance in the sense of, um, again, that things don't come immediately and you have to work for them. And, um, that's something I've learned. So. Now, are you feeling tonight? You're a bassist. Yeah, just go ahead. Um, 
Hopefully, it's, you know, I'm going to warm up. It's freezing well, you look there. good. Well, it's New York City in January. It's January yeah, 28th. I, I mean, I we I, can't I, get any better than that, right? I've been here 10 years and living here 10 years, and I, I still complain still, about the weather. I know. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. So do I. That's what we well, do. Well, you look good. You got the coat on. You got the shoes. You ready? Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about some of the early musicians who helped influence your career. Oh, I mean... I would say like Mick Khan from a band called uh, Japan. Mm. Um, who else? Uh, bands like you know the Clash, um, the Beatles, the Stones, the obviously. Beatles, the Beatles, yeah. Um, the Beach Boys, you know. I'm my sure. Mother I, loves the Beach Boys. I mean, I, I <laughs> as a kid, you know, obviously you you just uh, rifle through your your um, your parents' record yep. collection. Yep. So yeah, it was it was. It was Quite limited, yeah. It was, yeah, Beach Boys, um, Beatles. I don't, I don't. I think there was one Rolling Stones album, and then there was like the Carpenters stuff like oh, that. Weird yeah, stuff, yeah, but yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. agree to appreciate really that. Yeah. The parents' and, music collection is like, yeah, is, 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 and is everything. My dad had his his eight track in the car, you know, when we went <laughs> on family holidays, and uh, so we, you know, we used to have sing-alongs in the back of the car and stuff like wow. that. Wow. Yeah. So what does it mean to be here in New York City tonight, moving into the 61st annual Grammy Awards that's happening February the 9th? You know. Just really excited, you know, um, and um, you know, glad to be witnessing some of it, and excited to yeah, see. I don't really know what to expect tonight, but. Um, but you're a part of the conversation. You're a musician. Who's earned their keep? Sorry? Who's on? You've earned your keep. I have, yeah. So you know, I'm just gonna um, keep under the spotlight, hopefully tonight, and uh, just. How old were you when you had your first live performance? Oh, um, 17, I think. Wow. And what? And what was that like for you? You're 17 years old. You're stepping on stage for the first time. Uh, The the first word that springs to mind is adrenaline. Yeah, that rush. And nerves, yeah, and. Almost vomiting, you know that kind of feeling. Oh, no, did you really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, and that that never really went away. And I think, you know, if, I like that. Yeah. I it, like that because that means you're think, still. Yeah. If if you if there's every time that you go on stage and you're not nervous yeah. and, and and you're not getting that adrenaline, then something's wrong. You know. Wow. Yeah. Hi guys, how are you? Yeah, you you look, look you look fabulous. Yeah, you Thank do. you. You look truly fabulous. You're like the disco ball decided to come and Woo! say hello. <laughs> ham it up, ham it up. The Grammys are coming. You guys are nominated for Best Children's Album. Yes. That is absolutely that's outstanding. It's really fun. First of all, talk to me about deciding to do a children's album. Is that your niche? Forgive me that for not my knowing. That is niche, yeah. This is like what we've been doing for 10 years now. Oh my God. This is but our kids' th- music, it just makes you younger, luckily. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you guys are based where? In Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Yeah, and oh in fact, goodness. a lot of the children's nominees are from one little neighborhood in Brooklyn. That's so, Isn't that strange? That's insane. Cool. Yeah. So what is Something it about this album that's really special that got, you know, this nomination this year? Well, we definitely put it all on the line. This is our third nomination, and we really tried to make the absolute best record we could. And it's also a response to the times. It's about science and truth and, um, you know, encouraging children to change their world and believe in things that are real and provable oh. and celebrating science and scientists and innovation. Yeah, one of the songs actually was the theme song for like the biggest NPR Kids podcast called Wow in the World, which is about wow science. Wow in the World. Yeah, yeah, it's about science, so wow. it all fits yeah. together. There is a little girl that I follow on social media. Yeah. Her name is Amoy Antoinette. Okay. She's an eight-year-old neuroscientist. No. I swear to God. I went to school with her father. What? You guys have to look her up. Her name is Amoy Antoinette. Okay. Amoy, Amoy, A-M-O-I? A-M-O-Y. Amoy Antoinette. Yeah. She's like a bona fide, like, Yeah, no, if you Google her, she's she's been on CNN. Wow. 
everything. So I don't know. You guys, wait. So you guys might want to do a song about her, or like you know, send her out. We did. We did a bunch of songs about um, about some great scientists, scientists, lady scientists that have changed the world. Wow. Yeah, on this record. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the so inventor exciting. of CRISPR, the gene editing technology, was a was a woman named Jennifer Doudna, um, and uh, the inventor of windshield wipers was a woman named Mary Anderson. That was nice. a bit further nice. behind. In yeah. Time. Well, I mean, we had that movie a few years ago, Hidden Figures. Right. Yeah. You know, no, it's exactly is on. Amazing. On yeah. point for that. Yeah. So, wow. So yeah. So I think the album is right on par with the times. Nice. So what's next for you guys? Like, where are you working on now? Like, what's your next Grammy? Well, we're working on an audio book. Um, and we're, we have a show yeah. in development. Yeah, we have an audio book with Audible we're doing right now. And then we have a show in development with Amazon Studios. So I love that. We're, we're keeping it on. You guys are yeah. killing it. Yeah. Ten, yeah. Years, right. ten years in the game dedicated yeah, to making just, music for children. Overnight success. <laughs> ten years in the making. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. All right, how, how are you? Doing? You Great. are looking magnificent tonight. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Love, you changed the hair color. I'm trying. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a Grammy event. 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 I wanted to come in theme. Yeah, yeah, right? I love, I love it. So how are you doing tonight? Like, you're performing. I'm doing great. I'm just happy to be here, just to be involved in some shape of manner. You know what I mean? It's super, super cool. You have an album that's coming out next month. Talk to me yes. a little bit about this new album. Uh, February 22nd. It's called Trouble in Paradise. It's just about, you know, a range of emotions and just relationships and just kind of brought in that spectrum of just like overall human emotion. You know? All righty. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So who do you look up to in the music industry? You have to have a point person, yeah, somebody yeah. that you can call up and really keep it 100 with. Of course. Who is that person? Or you can't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that person probably not, but I can tell you the inspirations of that I probably look to and for music. this album. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Um, Charles Gambino was a big one for yeah. me. Yeah, um, he's such an amazing, you don't understand. like, this guy is so talented. So Damn, cool. it's all I you can, can say. Only, like aspire to just be half of that. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah. I want to be. I want to. I, I, I want to pattern my career after actor, like that. Actor, writer, yeah. producer, Everything. like and, just uh, activist. Also, exactly. Also, with this album, I I was very um, active on trying to make it a whole story and a concept, and it has skits weaved into it. So it's a big, big, you know, journey and adventure with this album. Now I think people are gonna really enjoy. It. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, so February 22nd. February 22nd, Trouble in Paradise, LA. Trouble in Paradise. Yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. so what do you want to say to young artists who are entering the music industry? What do you want to tell them, like some of the nuts and bolts of some yeah. of the things that they really need to learn and understand? I think um, a big one that I don't think people a lot a touch on a lot is um, be prepared for failure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a, uh, and and got to have thick skin, you know what I mean? A lot of people... They fail three, four times, and they're like, all right, this isn't for me. You got to learn how to fail forward. that one time you do make it, and they fail 20 more times, and then get up and go do it again. So, yeah, just have perseverance. I and, like you, brother. Hey, thank you. Yes. I appreciate this. Yes. The gold. Come on, Listen, the I tried. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Look at wait. Her boots, though, yeah. Like. They wasn't ready. Not yeah. at all. At all. Jesus. So what song will you be, be performing tonight? Um, so yeah, um, the album, like I said, comes out on the 22nd of next month. So I'm just gonna do some stuff for my last project. Um, it's a song called "Bang Your Line" featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Um, oh wait, so you can't do a song from the new album? Is that like how it works? Well, or? no, I just um, just wanted to kind of like do some of the older stuff because I mean it's more familiar, and, right. and we're still trying to the band. We're still trying to get it down pat. The new stuff. So um, yeah, it's kind of like. We're doing a whole tour once I drop the project too, so people will be very familiar with the project, and I'll be very familiar with it as well once this comes out. So okay, yeah. well I'm definitely going to hang around and see the performance. I, I can't it. wait. I so what what's coming up for you besides the album that you have coming out February the 22nd? What's next? Is there anything that you're working on? Yeah. Any small like pet projects that you? Yeah, might well, enjoy? like I said, um, the idea is to put the project out on the 22nd, and then more than likely will be hitting my first headline tour. So I've always done, I've always opened for people. You know what I mean? I'm open okay. from a lot of people, from Jasmine Sullivan to um, Gold Link to... I love Jasmine yeah. Sullivan. Yeah, you know what I mean? so I'm I, from the Philadelphia area, hey, so yes, Jasmine okay. Sullivan, we love you, girl. Okay, yeah, so I mean, um, 
just do my own headline. That's going to be super exciting. I'm going to try to make it um, as big and grand as I can. So, yeah. Okay. So where can we find you on social media? For those who are not aware of yeah. who you are, where can we find you and follow you? Uh, L.A. on everything. E-L-H-A-E. -E. Stands for Every Life Has an Ending. Oh, my goodness, because I was wondering, I like, that's an interesting spelling. E-L-H-A-E. -E. Every life has a meaning. Has an ending. Oh, every life has an ending. I'm going to get it right, y'all. Every right. life has an right ending. I love that. Here. I love that. The Recording Academy. Just happy to be here. Tune in to the 61st Annual Grammy Awards on Sunday, February the 9th at 8 p.m. on CBS. Tanisha Laverne Grant, BlackInAmerica.com.